So guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter from White Raven Productions and today we're talking again about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K in comparison to the Red Raven 4.5K. In the last couple of weeks I've been working with various fashion brands so I claimed that the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K would be a proper B-cam to my Red Raven and in this video I'm gonna prove you right. So to keep the video uh, nice and tight, we're gonna quickly talk about how we looked upon these tests. So we're gonna talk about the setup of both cameras. We're gonna talk about uh, a comparison of the ungraded footage. Then we're gonna compare the graded footage and we will round it up with a quick conclusion. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. So to maximize the potential of both cameras, we shot handheld on the Red Raven. We used the Sigma 18-35 uh, cinema zoom on that camera. The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K on a Ronin S with the Samyang or Rokinon uh, video DSLR primes. The combination of both setups made, it, uh, made shooting very effective and we were able to move through a very extensive shot list in a crazy short amount of time. I'm not gonna talk too much in this video, so uh, here you have uh, some examples of the ungraded raw footage of both cameras. Now we're gonna have a look at the graded footage comparison. This is just to show you how these two cameras will fare when using alongside each other. to know if I could use these cameras alongside each other without noticing the difference between shots too much and we can. So guys I want to end off the graded comparison with a few things to keep in mind. So first of all set the white balance of both cameras to the same level. So both cameras require a offset of the tint levels. Both the red and the Blackmagic 6K tend to, to lean towards green. I set the tint of the red to minus 4 and the Blackmagic towards around 10. It's our experience that this will give you the best balance image straight out of camera. So when it comes to skin tones, both cameras are great, but the red is just far superior. So when you shoot close up of your models, when you do like face shots, beauty shots, try and shoot that with the red. So yeah, the form factor. So the form factor of the black magic is something uh, that I talk about a lot, but it is something to really consider. If you want to combine the red with the gimbal, uh, we do it with the Movi Pro. But as you know, the Movi Pro is a very large uh, setup and it's not very mobile. The Black Magic it can be uh, used in combination with the Ronin as a pistol grip, a small portable gimbal. Conclusion time. Uh, I said I would prove that the Black Magic Pocket Cinema 6K would be a proper B cam to my Red Raven. Uh, I hope that the results that I showed you in this video prove to you that I was right. I honestly believe it. Um, fun fact, a lot of you uh, said in previous video that the Blackmagic actually would be a better camera than the Raven. I honestly disagree with you. Uh, the Red Raven in my opinion is still a far superior camera in terms of color science and overall build quality and the way it handles everything overall. So the Blackmagic might have some fierce competition at the moment but honestly I am so happy with this camera. This is gonna be my B camera, it's gonna be my travel camera. I love it, uh, I love the way how I can use it alongside my Red Raven and 
I'm gonna be using it for quite a while. So guys, I really want to know what you thought of this comparison. Uh, which camera do you think it performs the best? And of course, if my claim that the Blackmagic would be a proper B-cam is obviously right in your opinion. Let us know in the comments down below. Consider subscribing um, and hopefully see you in next week's video. Later.